Hey, welcome back, folks. Now, my next guests live together, they work together, they eat together. Basically, they never get a break from one another. And it's taking a toll on their marriage. Take a look at the tape. Hi, Steve. My husband, Gary, and I need your help. My wife, Amy, and I fight all the time. Amy and I own a restaurant, and we work together as many as 80 to 100 hours a week. And it can be very stressful at times. We'll fight in front of employees. Employees don't even get phased by it now. When things aren't up to my expectations, I have a tendency to yell. I, I yell right back. We'll go around and around. We'll go around and around. I can be not very nice sometimes. Gary can be condescending, he can be insulting, and it drives me nuts. I'll say things that should never be said. <laughs> She'll just throw up her hands and turn around and walk away, and that drives me out of my mind. I think we both need to step back and be more mature at times and not push each other's buttons just because we're in a stressful situation. I love Amy, and I wish we didn't fight so much, but sometimes you need help, and I think that's where we're at. I think that we need help. Well, folks, please welcome Amy and Gary. <laughs> All right, Amy, Gary, tell me, tell me about your relationship. Well, Gary and I first started dating about 20 years ago, and we dated for a few months. We broke up because he wanted to move to New York and become a great chef. And then three years ago, I went out to dinner, and I had this incredible meal. And I called the waiter over. I'm like, um, come here. I know all my chefs. I don't know who this one. Who is this? I feel like I just fell in love, and it was Gary. I came out and, and, and to see who was saying that she gave me a compliment. And I came out and said, I realized it was Amy, and um, we hit it off. The spark was still there. Um, within a year, we were married, and then a, a year later, we opened the restaurant. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's been really wonderful, but it's also really hard because we're just working together so much, and, you know. We actually celebrated our one-year wedding anniversary at the restaurant. <laughs> After work, you know. <laughs> yeah. You fight a lot. How, how bad these arguments get? Oh, these arguments are like classic, brutal. We joke that the knives come out when we fight because literally we've thrown knives at each other. Um, I've chased him down the parking lot and kicked his car in. I've thrown a salad in his face. We throw dishes at each other. They're classic. <laughs> <laughs> Does, does this happen in front of customers, employees? It definitely happens in front of the employees. And that's, that's one of the negative parts about it is because it's hard for them to show us as much respect as we deserve when we don't show it to each other. Okay, well, Gary, why does the fighting get out of hand? Well, you know, um, the, there's a lot of really positive things about the restaurant. It's going very well. We've won awards. People seem to be loving it. But it's a 24-7 operation, you know? We don't have any downtime. Um, when we're not at work, uh, which is not very often, we're thinking about work and we're, you know, planning yeah. for the future. So um, it leads to a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety and a lot of frustration. And to be honest, Lee, both of us are really good at pushing each other's buttons. Amy, what does Gary do that's so nerve-wracking? Well, um, Gary's relentless. I mean, when he gets angry, he yells, he screams, and he just won't stop. It's like da 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 da. He'll call you every name in the book. He's called me stupid, dumbass, half-ass, um, baby. Your last name is Moran, not Moron. And you know, I, being the Type A personality I am, I'm like, oh hell no. And I fight back, and you know, we sit there and we just go at it. <laughs> <laughs> Call your wife stupid, man. You know, Steve, I'm, I'm really ashamed to admit it, but I've called her stupid and I've called her worse. Um, you know, and the thing I will say in my defense is that I'm really two different people. I'm Gary, but when I'm in the kitchen, I'm chef. And I, I have the weight of responsibility of making sure that everything goes well. Um, and Amy um, sometimes exhibits a lack of, of, de of attention to detail um, in, in the moment. And that really frustrates me. And, and, you know, I need to learn how to deal with it better. I really do. I mean, is, is Gary the boss at the restaurant? Gary is definitely the boss at the restaurant. But, you know, a lot of times he's just a jerk. And, you know, it's hard when he is so verbally assaulting to always show him the respect that he deserves as yeah, chef. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Gary, what, what will happen if, if, if this fighting don't, don't come to an end? Well, you know, Steve, it really worries me because everything that we have in the world we put into this, um, you know, this is how we support our family. We have two wonderful kids. Um, and uh, we've got a wonderful opportunity in front of us. And I, and I really worry sometimes that we're going to destroy it all by fighting like this. And I really want, I want it to stop. 
Joining us is a psychologist who specializes in relationship issues. Please welcome Dr. Debbie Maggots. Dr. Debbie, does it surprise you to Gary and Amy that they're fighting this much? Oh my God, not at all. I mean, they have no downtime. They have no time away from each other, which is actually sometimes important for couples. I, you know, I don't know one couple who wouldn't be fighting if you're working together yeah. and married and together 24 hours a day. The good news is I think a simple marriage tune-up will really help get you guys going in a more smooth direction. I, you know, there's, a, there's an easy fix here. Okay. What do you recommend to stop the fighting? Now, to borrow a line from you, Steve, you can either be right or be happy. So it's time to take a step back, zip up the mouths, and listen to each other for a change and see if you can't do something here. Okay, Dr. Debbie, myself, we came up with a clever way to put her advice into action. Were they up to the task? I don't know, but we'll find out when we come back. We've got something we want you folks to see. We'll be right back. Coming up next, can this fighting couple get back to the basics of love? In the present, we need to solve this problem. Okay, all right. Well, okay. then you just do it. You tell me when you need me. Okay, that's I got to tend to my marriage. I got to take care of it every day. And later, Steve and his audience put their taste buds to work. We've got country fried bacon. Country fried bacon. Country fried bacon. No, you did. Yes, we did. And crown America's best burger. I feel like slapping you. <laughs> I was one of those guys who didn't think the Army had anything for me. Then I found out that less than one-tenth of one percent of all Americans wear the uniform of an Army officer. It's a small group of us, but we're among the most highly educated compared to many other corporations or institutions. I was surprised at what I found in being an officer and at what the Army helped bring out of me. I'm Major Miles B. Caggins III, Officer, United States Army. Find a stronger future as an officer at GoArmy.com slash officer. There's strong, then there's Army strong. Open your eyes. Discover the power of L'Oreal's volumizing fibers. Voluminous false fiber lashes mascara. Dramatic volume from every angle. Lashes are volumized, lengthened, dimensionalized, curved. L'Oreal's voluminous false fiber lashes mascara. Chili's $6 lunch break combos. Try our delicious new freshly made lunch pizzas on our house-baked pan crust. Served with soup or salad and made to order. Chili's new $6 lunch break combos. More life happens here. Steve's answering the question, is it weird? Sex edition. Food excites me. If they're a bad performer, then I start thinking of my favorite food, Popeye's chicken. Well, I'm getting Popeye's. On the next Steve Harvey. Hey, listen, everybody. If you want to be a part of my studio audience, go to our website, steveharveytv.com. Hey, folks, uh, listen, I'm back with Amy and Gary, who say their fighting is threatening their marriage and their new restaurant, and they want my help getting their relationship back on solid ground. 
Amy and Gary say that their fighting comes from working together in a stressful, frustrating environment. So Dr. Debbie, more Dr. Debbie than me, to be honest with you, put them in a similar situation, but this time with some different rules. Check out the tape. Oh, joy. <laughs> What's this? So Amy and I are about to put a dresser together. We've never done anything like this. We've never put together a cabinet. Instructions on how to treat one another while doing this exercise. For this task, Gary's the boss. I know you struggle to accept that he is technically the boss at work. Do not ignore Gary or walk away. You are not allowed to say anything that is not in full support of the common goal. No matter what Amy says or how much you disagree, you are not allowed to name call. You are not allowed to raise your voice. You are not allowed to use profanity. That's a tough one. <laughs> We're gonna try to do this without arguing. This should be interesting. These appear to be the two base uh, panels here. Why are you doing that? Can I sort through and organize all the little parts? That seems like a good idea, yes. Okay. Do we know which one's the top and which one's the bottom? Trying to figure that out, baby. I think it's going pretty well. Um, it, I mean, it's difficult at times, and um, but I think I'm holding it together pretty well. Okay, baby, I can't figure this out. Okay. So I'm gonna take the directions. <laughs> but I'm gonna need, no, you can't I'll just I'll give them back, I'll give them back. I'll just get the one done here, and then I'll know if we wanna do the other two, and then you can be done with that, we can flip it over and be out of here. Following the doctor's instructions are challenging in that I'm used to taking control. If this has to be higher than this. So this has to, these have to be flip flop. I think that you're full of <laughs> basically, at this point. Feel free to look at this. Well, feel let free to step right. away and let me do it. Okay, go right ahead. Look at the picture. Hey, hey, hey. He's being a sarcastic little troll and be, you know talking down to me and oh now you see and 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 it's it's frustrating. Amy was very clearly instructed to let me be the boss and she's not doing that right now and she's not really good at doing that. But see, look at this. You know what? Sh step back for a second. Just step back for a second. No, no, All right. No, no, look no, at this. no, one no, says. no, no. Look at this here. In the present, we are working on this. Okay, in the present, we need to solve this problem. Okay, all right, well okay. then you just do it, you tell me when you need me. Okay, that's Are you? Let me know when you're ready to play nice again, and you can come over and help me, how about that? I would really appreciate that, by the way. I'm gonna let like Gary work it out on his own. He's just gonna sit there and whine, and go through the motions, and once he's worked it out, then I'll come back and help him. This is the stupidest thing that I've ever seen in my life. I'm about to get off. Did we put these things on upside down? I have no idea. Ugh. All right, I'm done. That's fine with me. I don't want to do this anymore either. I feel that the doctor's instructions were helpful and common sense, really. I just think that we need to work on them a lot more. We need to learn how to work together better. It was a nightmare. I'm so glad it's done. <laughs> Amy, it started out so well. What happened? By that point, we just, we were frustrated, we were hungry, and we're just kind of, it just escalated, and you know, it's a domino effect. It just keeps going and going and going, and okay. smack him. Okay, <laughs> so, so good, so, so why'd you lash out at Amy? Well, it's just like everything else, you know? I mean, it's just like at work that there's a task in hand that has to be completed. None, neither of us like it, but Amy just spaces out. She's like, I don't want to play anymore. And I feel that's unfair. You know, I feel that oh, that's... I don't think that's necessarily that I'm spacing out. I think that you get into this little mean, angry mode, and I just kind of walk away and let you chill out. And I'm not just walking away. I'm letting you calm down. Well, I would prefer if you engaged more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to Dr. Debbie. Dr. Debbie, did Amy and Gary fail this experiment? Absolutely not. You know, anything that you try out is not a failure, and you started the process of change. You know, and Gary, what you said at the end of the tape, I agree with. There are simple things that I told you, and really the key to change is continue to do the simple things over and over. And, you know, it's increments of change. And so eventually, if you keep trying, the fighting can go from this